Here's the dirty truth that nobody in tech wants to admit. I keep getting emergency calls from companies drowning in AI-generated code disasters. Executives promised their boards that one developer with ChatGPT could do the work of 10 engineers. Investors threw millions of startups that just because they had AI in their pitch deck, then they thought that they were worth it. But when crunch time hit and they need actual to actually ship some working software, that's when they call us to clean up the mess. So why are multi-million dollar AI initiatives collapsing faster than house of cards? How do we convince ourselves that code and software are the same thing? And what happens when your entire product is built on vibe coding? where nobody actually understands what they've created. Let's dive into this today because I want to tell you about what I'm finding. All right, so look, I get that AI is powerful and we use it absolutely every day. I tell my developers all the time that AI is not going to replace you, but a developer who knows how to use it might. So I totally understand where we're at in this AI coding revolution. And I'm seeing the same pattern over and over again. Companies think they're building the future, but they're actually creating technical debt bombs that are ready to explode. So I'm going to break down some of the real story behind AI generated code. Why, uh, why understanding the difference between writing code and building software might save your entire business. And hey, I love to hear about your war stories too. So drop a comment down below and tell me about some of the AI experiences that you've had, because honestly, your comments are some of my favorite things and they totally make my day. Now let me jump into a funny joke here because I really like this one. I, I found it really, uh, really humorous here. So, uh, you know, who are we? CEOs, what do we want? AI, a AI to do what? We don't know. When do we want it? Right now, right? And this is the joke, right? This is what's going on. And we're seeing this over and over and over again. The reporting, the, the pattern is just, you know, over and again. So let's take a look at this other this other story here really quick. The CTO was ChatGPT. I freelanced for a funded startup and slowly realized no one actually built anything. They just passed prompts on to OpenAI. So the founder was a charismatic, slick pitch deck. Buzzwords were well deployed, said they had a lean tech, uh, technical team and needed a software engineer, a senior engineer to structure, uh, had structure and velocity. I asked what stack they're using. There was a pause that said open AI mostly. So they really actually had no CTO. There was no technical founder, just a bunch of guys who did their growth stuff and figured out that they'd use Figma to, to do mockups, a Notion roadmap and a Python backend kind of. So it turned out MVP was built in less than two weeks using chat GPT. Literally, they passed prompts into GPT, copied the output, and deployed it to Replit. So, I mean, I'm seeing the same story over and over again. I see people who are bringing me in. They're like, I got this thing. It's ready to ship. I think you're just a few weeks away, but I just need to solve a couple of these last bugs. And I come in and look, and they've just got thousands of thousands of lines of code. And I'm getting into these projects when the entire systems were built by developers who just vibe coded with chat GPT or Claude without understanding what they were actually creating. Now these code bases look kind of functional on the surface, but they're an architectural nightmare that nobody can maintain or extend. So when AI generated, when AI generated code, it doesn't consider your existing system architecture, where your data flows or your business logic constraints. Teams ship features faster initially, but then spend months trying to untangle the technical debt when they need to add new functionality. The worst part is when the original developer leaves and nobody else can figure out how the system actually works. This vibe coding approach creates software that's impossible to scale. So now, if everybody thinks I'm just hating on AI, look, I think developers should be using AI, but it needs to still be developers who know how to build software. Building software is not just writing code. So I've sat in boardrooms where executives genuinely believe that ChatGPT could replace their entire development team with one junior developer. These same executives get shocked when their AI-powered development initiatives take longer and cost more than the tr traditional development approach. So the fundamental misunderstanding is thinking that generating code is the hardest part of software development. What they miss is that software engineering is about solving complex business problems, not just producing lines of code. The realistic or unrealistic times, inadequate budgets, and frustrating teams trying to deliver impossible promises. So companies that succeed with AI understand it's a tool to make good developers better and to make good systems uh, and system designs more powerful, not to replace them all. So VCs are throwing money at any startup that mentioned AI in their pitch deck, regardless of whether it actually solves the real problem. Right? I've been talking about this for a while where I keep seeing executives running around with AI as this hammer saying, where's the nail, where's the nail? And they just want to find something to bang on it with. Right? These AI first companies often struggle to build sustainable products because they prioritize buzzwords over business fundamentals. Now the real value isn't in using AI, it's solving customer problems efficiently, whether it involves AI or not. So smart investors are starting to ask harder questions about actual implementations. 
the companies that survive this bubble will be those that use AI strategically, not just those who use it for marketing purposes. Now, here's the truth that nobody really wants to hear. AI can write individual functions brilliantly, but it cannot architect complex systems. Generating code is like knowing how to lay bricks. Building a house requires understanding load-bearing walls, plumbing, electrical, and how everything works. AI models lack the context to understand your business requirements, user workflows, performance constraints, and integration needs. So I've seen AI generate perfectly looking good, perfectly good looking code, complete, but then completely breaks when you try to put it into production. Software architecture requires understanding trade-offs, making decisions about scalability and about planning for the future, you know, actually how the system works and how it's going to work with the business. The most effective approach I've seen combines AI code generation with strong human architecture oversight and code review process. So I was working with a client today and like this example was, you know, and I get asked all the time, well, can we do this? I'm like, well, yes, we can. I mean, we can give me a keyboard. We can take it to the moon. And I tell people that all the time. I'm sure they love hearing that. But my point to it is, is that I'm saying, should we do it? Do you want to spend the investment on it? Do you want to put the time in? See, with AI, the problem is, is they can just jump in, do a prompt, think they're getting code back and think it's going to solve the problem. The problem is that AI doesn't understand your code base's existing patterns, naming conventions, or architectural decisions. When AI generates code in isolation, it creates inconsistent implementation that makes the entire system hard to maintain. So I've seen companies spend more time refactoring AI-generated code than it would have taken to write properly from scratch. So true story, I got contacted by somebody who was interested in using some of our consulting services. They brought me in and they showed me just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lines of code. I mean, just hundreds of files of code. And they're like, well, it's kind of working. And they're like, but there's just like some of these little bugs we can't get. And they kept showing the, the bugs kept spiraling down. And I kept looking into their code base and I was like, none of it was making sense. Like even the pieces as it was architected or laid out didn't make sense. And you could clearly tell this individual had had this all written by AI and they didn't know how they were getting putting it together. So the biggest limitation I see with AI coding is its inability to maintain clear mental models of what the system is supposed to do. When test fails, AI systems guess randomly about whether to fix the code or fix the test instead of reasoning through the problem. And this is what we see over and over. AI models suffer from context omission, recency bias, and hallucination issues that directly impact code quality. Now, every successful AI coding implementation I've seen consulted that I've consulted on includes strong human oversight at critical decision points. The most effective teams use AI to generate code quickly, then have experienced developers review, refactor, and integrate it properly. So we're working with another team right now, and we're actually building out a series of systems that will build in and take inputs and then put them into a prompt, send them out to two different AI systems, and then bring back the results, parse them, and compare the differences. This is an example, and now, I mean, this is an example of the things that we're sending out to AI would take the human somewhere between an hour or two hours worth of work, and the AI can do it in a few seconds. So if we build the system correctly, we put in checks and balances, and we build this out, there's ways to use AI responsibly and to use it well to improve your business. So while everyone's using generic chat GPT, the real competitive advantages comes from domain-specific AI models trained on your code base and business logic. So I work with companies that fine-tune models on their coding standards, architectural patterns, and business rules, and the results are dramatically better. Custom model understa models understand your naming convention. The key is starting with clear coding standards and architectural guidelines. Now, the developers thriving in the AI era aren't the ones who are blindly accepting AI suggestions. They're the ones who can critically evaluate and improve generated code. Code review skills become even more critical when you're reviewing AI output that might look correct but miss subtle business logic. So the company seeing genuine pro productive productivity improvements use AI for specific well-defined tasks rather than trying to automate entire development workflows. AI it excels at generating test cases, creating documentation, writing boilerplate code, and suggesting refactoring approaches. The biggest wins come from using AI to handle tedious parts of development so humans can focus on creative problem solving and system design. I really like using AI to build certain functions and I'll give it a prompt have it build a function, have a look at the code, and then take that function and put it in place where I can test it individually. Smart teams integrate AI into their existing development processes rather than trying to rebuild everything around AI first workflows. Now, again, if you have a compliment or if you have a comment, make sure you leave it down below because I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and stuff that you've seen on this. And also, if your company has systems that aren't working together, make sure you reach out because here at Startup Hack, our specialty is connecting systems so your company can work to maximum efficiency. Check out startupack.com slash Spencer. Now, 
The sustainable approach treats AI as one tool in a comprehensive development toolkit, not as a magic solution to all engineering challenges. Successful teams establish coding standards, review processes, and architectural guide guidelines. Smart teams are building AI into systems to save human time, not to replace the humans. The key is maintaining the same quality and make sure that you, main, that you put in human gates to check on it. Long-term success requires investing in deep in developer education so teams understand both AI capabilities and really how to build software so they can be checking it. So the future belongs to development teams that blend human creativity and judgment with AI speed and capabilities and with humans firmly in the driver's seat. Now, what are your thoughts? I'd love to hear about some of your AI coding disasters or some of the situations where you've been called in to help fix AI generated code. Here at Startup Hack, we love to build custom software solutions for companies as well as, uh, as, well as to help train software developers. So reach out because we'd love to help. Check out startuphack.com slash Spencer and here's some great information about some of our services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As your fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuphack.com slash Spencer.